How's it going, everybody? My name is Softline, and today we are playing um, uh, uh, Fallout New Vegas. That's what it's called. Uh, I'm gonna skip through this just in case everything's copyright claimed. This is the place that we um, eventually go to. Okay, I can, I can, I think I can uh, do something with this. New Vegas. Ah, oh, jeez. He's dead. There's a lot of stuff that we can do with this game. Because I got a whole bunch of stuff for this game. This is the only game that seems to be working on my computer right now. I'm still trying to fix all the bugs of my computer and whatnot. War. War never changes. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. Hmm? As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had... Okay, I'm gonna have to cut it. I'm sorry. Yeah, I've, all, I've got all these packages these packs, classic pack, tribal pack, all this different type of stuff to get us a jump start. You're awake. How about that? Whoa, easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Right. Caden Godwin. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do? Alright, hold on. I'm gonna pause it here. There we go. I'm pretty sure that's what I would look like if I were skinnier and older. And had, like, shorter hair. And had a better beard. <laughs> well, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. That mattered. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. I am eating, by the way. Just letting you know. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. Hey. Right. Going over here. Good so far. Go ahead and give the bigger tester a try. We'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculties. There we go. Um. <laughs> strengths. Average Joe. Perception. Endurance. Uh, charisma, intelligence, agility, luck. We don't need that much luck. We need more, um, 
We need more charisma. And... Intelligence, I'll have endurance. There we go. Alright. <laughs> That's how we are. We need endurance and... We need charisma and intelligence, most definitely, to do <coughs> stuff. There we go. Now that don't make a lick of sense. Seems to me you're the luckiest son of a gun in New Vegas. <laughs> well, we know your vitals are good. But that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered in a bighorn and dropping. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? All right. See if your dogs are still barking. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Hmm? Dog. Cat. House. Car. Shelter. Night. Day. Uh, dream. Bandit. Bad. Bribe. Light. Day. Dark. Mother. Father. Caretaker. Okay. Now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. Okay. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. Yes. Strongly agree. I ain't given to relying on others for support. Uh... No opinion. Uh, strongly disagree. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. No opinion. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. Uh, strongly disagree. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Uh... Agree. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. Uh... Chemical reaction. Okay. How about this one? That's a... Uh... Uh, space technology. Last one. Uh, kind of looks like a bearded man. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Mm hmm. Hmm. Barter? Okay, energy weapons? No. Science and speech. Barter, science, and speech. Done. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. Yep. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Alright, All right, we have two train traits left. Let's see. Logan's loophole. No one's going to put you you out to pasture because you're already just you're going to stay young and level thirty forever. You'll never can again become addicted to hymns, but they'll last twice as long. But after thirty, you can kiss experience, perks, and skill points goodbye. Nope. <laughs> Kamikaze? No. You have 10 plus 10 action points, but your reckless nature causes you to have negative 2 damage threshold. No. Hot blooded. Order.
I think Hoarder. And... Yeah, definitely good natured. Okay. Done. All right. I guess that about does it. Come with me. I'll see you out. All right. Nice. Okay, I'm actually going to put some stuff on. I do have stuff. All right. Here, these are yours. Nice. It was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Yep. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a pip boy. Nice. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to be now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on, too, so the locals don't pick on you for lack and modesty. But <laughs> Never was much my style, anyway. Thanks for patching me up, Doc. Uh, don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out, too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. All right. Hardcore mode. Um, play in new hardcore mode. Har hardcore mode greatly increases the challenge of the game. No. Alright, I am going to... Um... Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to put on... I'm gonna put some stuff on. There we go. Now I've got stuff on. I've got armor on, and I got a pistol. So, yay. Yeesh. So bright outside. Good God. Yeah, yeah. All right, I gotta go meet this person, this other person who's somewhere. Actually, yeah, we're supposed to talk hey, to this partner. dude. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Uh, thanks for me digging a, me out of the grave. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. Uh, how did you happen to find me? I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Uh, do you know about those... Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. Um. Okay, bye. Happy trails. All right, thanks. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Okay, um... Doc Mitchell said you could teach me to survive in the desert? Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Alright. Okay. <clears throat> I gotta meet her. See the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Okay. Which one? Which fence? Which fence? Oh shit, I can't see the fence. I can't see the fence! No! Um... 
I gotta get the varmint rifle. Uh-oh. I might have to tweak some things. Hold on. There we go. I turned up everything. That's the right idea. Look down the site. I know that I can crouch. Try crouching down and stand. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Yep. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from my water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Um, I'm actually gonna end the tutorial. Suit yourself. Hope this helped you some. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Yep. Kind of the town mom. Mm -hmm. She likes to meet newcomers. Yep. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna poke my head in and say hi then. All right. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Don't hand Ringo over soon. I'm going to get my friends, and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not gonna buy something, get out. What the hell is your problem? You better not fucking cross me, boy. I'll fuck you up. Oh fuck you, I'm Khan's always up. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Um Heard the overheard the, your argument. What was that all about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged in the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes mm -hmm. into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Um. It's, it's odd that Cobb was, wasn't was able to find Ringo. The town's not that big. Cobb hasn't exactly been looking for Ringo too hard. I think he's afraid that Ringo will ambush him, which is probably true. Uh, what are you going to do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the Powder Gangers with him. Uh, Powder Gangers are basically, um, they're convicts that were sent to work. That's basically what they were. Um. All right. Show me you have to sell. I'm sure I've got something you like. Show me what you have for sale. Um, apparel, this, 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 I'll take all that cap, aid, Trudy, aid, okay, so she's got purified water, oops, Oh, yeah. Salesman Weekly? Fuck yeah. Doctor's bag. You can have this bleak venom. Um, Sunset Sarsaparilla? Fuck yeah, I'll take a lot of that. Um, Meeting people? Speech plus 10? Fuck yeah, that's good. What happens if, if I help Ringo? Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. Fuck I yeah, that's what I want. With the discount. Hell yeah. Just helping Ringo would also make the Powder Gangers mad, and they've got a lot of friends out there. Um. Trying to get track down the people who attacked me. So I help Ringo, and Good Springs will like me more. What if I help the Powder Powder Gangers? No. Um, I want to take a look at it. So, want me to take a look sure, at your broken radio? The outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. Mr. New Vegas is actually not a gentleman, be as I've heard. There. 
All right, so there's a there's a thing back here, I believe, that we can use. Maybe it might be back here. Yep, it's back here. And we basically um workbench recipes, aid, ammo, miscellaneous. No. A uh, reloading bench. Um, no. Huh. Hold on. Okay, well, I don't know how to fix the radio yet, but I do have that as a mission. So, um, what are we going to do now? Hold on. Um, quests? Offer to help Ringo deal with the... Yep, that's what... All right, um... I'm not an enemy, if that's what you're asking. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of Caravan? You know how to play? Did, did you know there's a man named Joe Cobb looking for you? Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. Um, what are you going to do about the powder gangers? I'm going to lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. Maybe... Maybe I can help? We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... I'll ask around to see who I can round up. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Yep, I'm gonna do that. So what's going on? Did Sunny agree to help us? The hell? I haven't even try to hurry. I haven't even talked to her yet, dude. The hell? Uh, I'm gonna help Ringo take out take on the powder gangers. I might need your help. Say no more. I'm in. Well, that was easy. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo, but I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, right. there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. Yep. Any idea on how to convince Trudy to join us? A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. Okay. Um, would Chet be willing to give us supplies? Even give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake, he'd still make you barter with him. Uh... How can I get Easy Pete's dynamite? Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before he handed it over. All right. Um. I'll be waiting. Yeah, she's over here, I believe. And all I got to do is talk to her. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. <laughs> Um, you should help me take down the powder gang. Bullets, explosions, lots of stuff. I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason, I can't help but like you. I'm with you. See, that's Let why we needed speech. Folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. A general store probably has what we need in stock. All right. Later. Be careful out there. Park to easy, Pete. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? I hear you've got dynamite. I, it would help us beat the powder gangers. Too dangerous. Gonna kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. 
Uh... Yep. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. Alright, um... Next is this dude. Alright. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. Yep. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Um, I need supplies to fight the Powder Gangers. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the Powder Gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Barter 25. Let them take over the... Let them take over the town then. I'm sure your business will be much better off. You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. And uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. I have to put my business first. You understand. Yep. Take it easy now. All right. Um, we're almost there. All I got to do is go up there. All right. <laughs> you here, Doc? Doc. There you are. Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? Um, the town is going to be attacked by bandits. Anything you can do to help? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce, but I'll give you what I can spare. Nice. You take care now. All right. Um, there's just one more thing we have to do. Easy Pete. That's the only thing we have left is Easy Pete. Acquire Easy Pete's dynamite. That's all I got to do is acquire Easy Pete's dynamite. And I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. We're gonna have to go without Easy Pete. I really didn't want to, but we're gonna have to. All right. So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? Yep, Sonny's with us. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. Um, return to Ringo when you're ready to. Okay, let's do this. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. The powder gangers are here to play. How many are there? At least six. Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. Let's go. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. All right. I'm going to put on my fucking grenade rifle. Time to fuck some shit up. Why am I not running? Come on. Boom, bitch. Boom, bitch. Boom, bitch. Boom, bitch. Boom, bitch. Is that all of them? Who's getting shot now? Where is he? Where's the shit ass? Get fucked. Damn! Blew his fucking arm off. Vilified. Uh-oh. 
Reputation. Um, you've established a reputation with a group of people in the wasteland. Whether that reputation potentially is good or bad, you're finally somebody. All right, villi vilified for your over overwhelmingly monstrous behavior. Fuck off. You've become vilified by the community. Light. Enough news of your good works has been passed around that people like you. I owe you a huge favor for this. Here. These are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. Nice. You're welcome. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. If you ever visit New Vegas, look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp. Nice. Um, explosives. All we needed was 18, I think. We need um There we go. There we go. Um intense training uh, with the intense training perk, you can put a single point into any of your special attributes. Um, all right. Um, agility. Nice. Fuck yeah. All right, let me attach this gun. Nothing else to do here? Howdy. Fuck yeah. Well, that's going to be the end of this video, guys. If you liked it, leave a comment down below. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you're always notified of another one of my videos. There's going to be a link to my Patreon in the, the, in the description down below. There's going to be a $3 and a $6 option on my Patreon. Um, everything I make on my Patreon and eventually, hopefully, YouTube will go directly into making every single video that much better for you guys. And with that being said, I will see all you guys in the next video. Later.